So we have this load cell here with the strain gauges attached. So the strain gauges are embedded in that paste there. And then we have that hooked up to an amplifier circuit here, which we're gonna connect up to the Raspberry Pi. So this is the HX711 board here. So uh, the ones that are connected up to the strain gauge are E plus, E minus, A minus, and A plus. So we have those connected here. And if we wanna go back to our strain gauge diagram here, so E plus is our three volts. So this up here is our E plus. Our E minus is connected to the ground. So this is E minus. And then the voltages that we're reading between these two points. So this is A plus and this is A minus over here. So those will be the voltages that we read. And those are connected all here, okay? On the other side of the board, this is where we connect up to the Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna bring in, VCC is three volts, so we're gonna bring that in to VCC. SCK means serial clock, so that's a way to get digital data so we're gonna have SCK connected to one of the GPIO pins. DT stands for data out. So that's the data that we're gonna read. And then GND is ground. So we need to connect all these up to the Raspberry Pi. Let's get ready to connect this board up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the HX711 board on the breadboard here. And maybe I'll place it right there. Okay. So the first thing we probably need to do is attach the VCC, which will be our uh, constant voltage, which is three volts. So let me grab a wire. So our VCC here And that's going to go over to our three volts, which we already have connected all the way at the top. So that's how we grab that three volts there. Okay, likewise, we can grab that ground as well. So let's attach that ground up. Grab another wire here. And we have our ground. Let me get a shorter wire. And we can connect up our ground here. Can that work? See if I can grab that, get that in there. Okay. So there we have our three volts connected and our ground connected. The other two are the serial clock and the data out. And we're gonna connect those up to the GPIO pins here. So I'm gonna connect uh, SCK or the serial clock to GPIO5. So GPIO5 is right here. So I'll do that just here. GPIO5 to the serial clock there. All right. And the last one is the data out. So data out, I'm gonna to connect to GPIO6. So GPIO6 is right below GPO, GPIO5. And make sure that's in the correct place down here. Okay, so this side of the board, although I have it upside down, it's connected correctly. So we have three volts, we have the ground connected here, and then we have the serial clock attached to GPIO5 and the data out to GPIO6.